The Los Santos Tunas DLC is here and it's a lot of fun. There's actually a lot to this update. A lot of people thought it was just going to be the car mate. That couldn't be further from the truth. We have an entirely new business with the new workshop. We have new missions that are basically mini heists. We've got a bunch of new vehicles. I mean, man, there's a lot, okay? But in this video, though, we're going to go over the Los Santos car meet itself. And I'm going to tell you everything you need to know to get started. Because if you haven't noticed yet, GTA Online is kind of the worst game at explaining things to people. So I'm here to help. First things first, you're going to want to go to this location on the map. This is where the new car meet is located. For your first time, you're going to have to go in on foot. You're going to get put into the usual cutscene that you do with every new property in GTA Online. Once you're inside though, the first person you're going to want to talk to is Mimi. Go up to her, you're going to want to purchase the Los Santos Carmeet membership, which is $50,000, but don't worry, that's just a one-time fee. While you're inside the Carmeet, no griefers can get inside, no weapons allowed. This is a quote, good vibes only zone, and uh, it's, it's a nice change of pace. While you're talking to Mimi, you have a few other options as well. You can move your personal vehicle to any spot in the Carmeet, which is nice. And you'll also notice that you can take over the car meet for $50,000. To do this though, you're going to need a few things. First, $50,000, of course. And second, you need to be rank 20 in the LS car meet. What does that mean? Well, Rockstar has introduced a new reputation system in this update. Completely separate to your normal level or any other reputation in the game, this is reputation exclusive to the car meet. You can earn rep by literally just doing anything related to this update. So doing any of the races, the time trials, all of which we'll go over in a second. So don't stress about that. But all you need to know for now is you need to be rank 20. You need $50,000 and that's going to let you customize the car meet how you like. So you're going to be able to change the banners and host the meet the way you like. The last option with Mimi is you can check the membership stats, which as of day one, as I'm recording this, doesn't actually work yet. As you move around the car meet, there's two different shops. You've got the merch shop, which you can buy a bunch of hoodies, basically just a bunch of different clothing items, of course, for money, and you're going to need to be a certain rep within the LS car meet. So not just anyone can buy these. If you see someone wearing this, that means they've spent a lot of time grinding this DLC. You've also got another tattoo parlor, which, I mean, always cool to have another tattoo parlor. Not going to complain about that. The next person you can talk to in the car meet is this guy up here. He's going to let you start up either pursuit or street races both of which are new with this update and both are a lot of fun street races are sort of shorter races you can have anywhere between three to a hundred laps and it's completely non-contact these are really fast-paced action-packed tight races sort of like tokyo drift races these are really cool really fun the only complaint i have with them is you don't really earn much money and of course completing these will get you ls car meet rep Pursuit races, on the other hand, are a bit more wild. Everyone in this race is going to be getting chased by the cops. Your checkpoints are also spread out over further distances, which means that everyone sort of just needs to scramble and figure out how to get to each checkpoint. There's no waypoints, there's nothing. So if you don't know the races very well yet, you're sort of going to have to either follow other people or just guess where to go. And as you can see here, this can lead to a few car pileups. No one really knew how to get up here the fastest way and we all sort of just ran into each other. It was a bit of a mess. But still, these new pursuit races are a welcome addition. Sort of gives me like need for speed vibes, which is something that I think the racing in this game has been missing for a long time. Just like the street races, really cool. Only complaint again is they don't really pay that well, but they're a lot of fun. Moving around further in the car meet, we've got test rides. And this is something that the game has really needed for years. And I'm glad it's finally here. So any of the vehicles that are in this test ride section, you can test out for free. And I mean, try them before you buy them, basically. If you're going to try it out, that's going to take us to another new area, the underground test track, which is probably my favorite area in this entire update. This place is really cool. Once you're down here, you've got a bunch of options. The first is just drive around. This place is just fun to drive around in. Lots of tight corners. There's also wet spots on the floor as well, which kind of change it up. It's honestly my favorite place in the game just to drive around in. I should also mention that you don't need to take a test ride here. You can bring your own vehicles here as well, which makes this really fun because there's also three different modes that you can play while you're down here. First of which is the time trial, which is going to take you around the track in here. You can bring whatever vehicle you want and practice and try and get as good as you can with that vehicle and try and get the fastest time you can. 
This time trial track has heaps of tight corners. You're not gonna want to bring like your fastest car. You're probably gonna want to bring something like a sports car, which is more agile, can turn easier, drift, all that. For example, my best time with the Supra or the Jester RR right now is uh, I think one minute and two seconds. That's just after messing around for a few minutes. It's also really addicting. I kind of want to bring all of my cars in here and see which car I can do this track the fastest in. When you enter the track, you can actually choose if you want other players to be in in here with you and if you do you can do two other game modes as well the first is head to head which is really cool for you drag racing fans it puts you and one other person in an end to end race you see in footage of it right here you go one end you turn around you come back and you keep doing that a few times until someone wins it's a lot of fun it's pretty intense too and the final mode down here is scramble, where you and a few other players scramble to try and collect all of the checkpoints as fast as possible. There's 20 checkpoints, whoever gets through them all first wins. And just like the pursuit and street races that we spoke about before, any of this stuff is gonna earn you rep for the LS car meet. For our second last stop in the car meet, We've got the new prize rides, and this is actually really exciting because the only way we were able to get free vehicles in the game before was through the casino podium vehicle each week. This gives us a way to actually earn a free vehicle each week. So the weekly prize ride is gonna be on the back of this slam truck each week. And to win it, you go into your interaction menu, click on LS car meet, click on prize ride challenge and it's gonna tell you what you need to do at the time i'm recording this one this week's challenge is finish top three in a street race on three different days so i've done it today i need to do it on two more days and then i win that vehicle pretty cool while we're in this menu we may as well talk about the final type of race that was introduced with this update and that's sprint races while you're at the car you can challenge anyone well pretty much anyone near you to a sprint race if anyone accepts your challenge, it's gonna put you in a race from outside LS Car Meet to a random location on the map and back. These can be pretty intense too, and my main concern with this though was that griefers were gonna kill you, because this is in free roam. But I was happy to find out that while you're doing these races, you're in passive mode. You are immune to everyone else on the map, which is awesome. Just like every other race in this update, the money's not great, but it will earn you rep towards the LS car meet. And the final part of the car meet is, well, your car. There's 10 new vehicles available at launch, and there's going to be 7 more vehicles scattered across the next few weeks. And the customization on these things is absolutely insane, even more than the Benny's vehicles, which are the most customizable vehicles in the game. Seriously, it's not even worth me showing you the customization here, because there's just so many options. And if you customize your ride in the LS car meet itself, you can get some exclusive stuff like low grip tires, which pretty much makes your vehicle impossible to control. But if you like trying to control a vehicle that can't grip the road and you like doing drifts, maybe try this out. This is, uh, it's pretty hard to do on the test track. While you're in the car meet, through your interaction menu as well, you can do some cool things with your car. So you can open all the doors, you can open the hood, open the trunk. You can also turn the car on so you can see the engine revving. And you can also lower or raise your car's stance which can look cool, but beware, it will drastically change your car's traction. So there you have it. That's everything you need to know about the LS car meet on day one. Hopefully it helped you get started. If it did, a thumbs up would be awesome. Subscribe for more stuff like this. And over the next couple days, I'm going to work on releasing a guide for the new business as well, which is the new vehicle workshop. But as of right now, on day one, no one really knows how it works yet. So I'm going to spend the next day or two figuring that out, and then I'll let you guys know. So again, hope you enjoyed. Hope you stand safe. Enjoy the updates, and I'll see you in the next video. Poise!